So I've um, ordered Miss Anna a present. It's some vintage, a vintage dress and some vintage swimwear for the summer, which is here. So, because it needs a bit of chewing up, so I'm just going to take it through to it now. Miss Anna, Hello. I have a surprise for you. I've got one for you. Oh, what's yours? I've just joined this dating site. No. <laughs> right, I haven't got a present for you. I've got a present for you. Well, I don't know if you should have it now. Oh. Ta-da! Oh. You've got to feel it and guess. Feel it and guess. It's a super-sized bra. Yes, it is a super-sized bra. Is it? Have you been cheating? Um, it's a bit cardboard inside. Yes, it might be a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, is it? It might be. I think I've just broken it then. No, no, it's not fragile. Go on, open it and have a look. Chicken food. Chicken food. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. You guess all the time. Let's have a look at the label. From Retro Stage. That means it's clothing. Could be. Da, da, da. So you were right. It's a kind of bra, isn't it? It's a cross neck back. You have to work that out, won't yeah, you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You have to be good oh. with your knots. Have I got knickers then? Well, not quite. No, it's it's. Well, you'll see. Shorts. Proper vintage style look. Awesome. Do you like that? Yeah, I'm put that back in there because I saw something else. There's something else in that's there. That's not your main present. But that's a summer present. Oh, we've got a winter jacket in here. Kind of. It's a small. <laughs> <laughs> it's I've an got... American flag. Oh, it's wrong colour because it's cream. Oh. <laughs> It's a dress. So it goes that way. That's nice. It's isn't a bit twenties. That's nice. Do you like that? Thirties, yeah. sorry. Thirties, yeah. Thirties. They're both small, so I hope that's not too big. Oh, but the good thing is. You I'll can draw it in. Belt round, can't I? Yeah. Ba ba You happy? Yes, thank you. Give us a hug then. That's nice. Just what you needed, wouldn't it? A bit of cheering up. Yeah. This is the inside of an oil boiler. An old one. 1980s, I would say. Yeah. In good condition, though. And it might be the 1990s, actually. Could be 1990s, yeah. Early 1990s. Yes. But we've got a problem. We've got an oil... We've got a, an airlock. Yeah, we're going to get the air and out, aren't we? We're the air out of the system. It's giving us an intermittent fault. So, uh, this is the pump on the side here. The, uh, the oil pump. This is German. This one. And there's two... There's two bleed areas. You've got V and P. P is the pressure side of the system, so that's where we let the um, the air out. So what we're going to do now is switch on. The boiler will start, it will try and fire up, but it will fail because it's not got any oil in it. Um, and we're going to see what sort of comes out of here. I should have a, professionals have a, a proper valve where they screw in and they can adjust the, they can adjust the flow out, but we're just going to have to catch as much as we can. So. Bon courage. <laughs> oh, you 
at all. That's not good, is it? So we've just come upstairs. We Sorry, I'm looking at your ring. <laughs> looking at that Our big ring. ring. We couldn't get it to fire up, could we? And uh, we couldn't get the oil pump to bleed out. We thought that's a bit odd. Maybe the oil pump has failed. That's a shame. And uh, so I took the uh, oil pump cover off. And this is a gauzed, um, well, it's part of the pump. It's a filter, first line of filter. And you can see that this is a gauze underneath there. And it was absolutely choked up. So we're just going to make... Just Where's make... that magic tool for cleaning it? There it is. <laughs> this is the magic tool for cleaning. I'm just going to put that in there first. A bit of that in. This is a special... Some people would think that this is just an ordinary marmalade jar, but it's not. It's a, an oil filter cleaning system. Okay, honey, that's what it should look like. Nice and see-through. Obviously, uh, it's not actually damaged at all, but it would need to be replaced. I think this is, you know, probably reaching the end of its life. That just pops in. There's only one way that can go. That just pops in there, and I've given this a clean already around here. There's a nice little O-ring which it seals up against, which is nice and moist, because that's been wet. And then the pump cover goes on there. And we've got four Allens without washers in here. So I wonder if P then, because P is the bleed nipple effectively, where you bleed. I wonder if P in German is, um, it might be pssst. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Right, so we should now see, let's open that up, we should now see oil coming out the bottom one without the pump on. Lovely, okay. Okay, it's nice and solid. That's not pressurized. It's already sounding better. I'm already hearing air come out there. There's not even any pump running. That's not good. Come on, baby. We've lost the keys to the barn, and we're trying to get the caravan out to give it a clean, aren't we? Yeah. We, we can't do that because possibly you think you might have locked the keys in the barn. Could have done. So because I'm seeing if I've got a spare padlock key. Barn. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a bit of a crisis because what turned into a normal service of the boiler. Uh, turned into a, um, a bit of a crisis because the boiler... We need uh, some parts, don't we? We need some parts, yeah. So we did all the oil service and the filters and everything, which was lovely. That went smoothly. But then the capacitor, there's a start-run capacitor on the motor, and that should be replaced every couple of years. And that one is very old, uh, made by ITT, if you remember them. They're a very old company. No. Nope. <laughs> so it's a 400 volt uh, capacitor, which I think is the problem. Um, so I've had to order one of those. And um, so we were working much later than we intended to on the boiler system. Now we've had to stop those works while we wait for the spares to come through. Because um, we wanted to service the boiler ready for the new owners. And um, I think that in the disorganisation of the lockup. <laughs> To do in the boiler. In the, this hectic week we've had. Yeah, it's just we're not thinking very clearly at the moment. No. Uh, and I'm really sorry. I didn't know you were going to video today, and I've got my, I've got my horrible vest on. No, it's nice. Just working today. We're just working, guys. Anything white on a man looks nice. Really? Yeah. So, so we're just looking now to see if we've got a spare padlock key 
for the barn to see if I've been stupid enough to lock the keys in the barn, which is a you know could be a possibility with me. How exciting, Not eh? Really. <laughs> <laughs> now, does it mean that we might have to watch you hacksaw the padlock off? Oh, God, I hope not, sweetheart. I hope, oh. Well, we can't because of the tools in the workshop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. So we either try and break the padlock. Wow, well, let's get there when we do <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hang on, hang on, before we do this, look. There's James. James a cockerel. Oh. I'm, I'm acting as another cockerel, local cockerel. <laughs> get him to talk to me. Here we go. <laughs> When he replied, <laughs> uh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> hey. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Three keys which look suspiciously like the padlock key. Okay. The spare one. See whether I've locked them in the barn. No. <laughs> You're so chatty, aren't you, James? Hey. Oh, are we in? Yeah, I've got a spare paddock piece that gets us in here. Yay! Let's see if I've got them in here. Be on the toolbox bench. So how long's this been since you've been on the road? A year and a half. Look at this look. This is turning into a proper barn find jeep. <laughs> it's it got like back droppings on it. Yeah. So we need to move the jeep to get the uh, caravan out. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is a bike that we bought here in France, isn't it? A cheap project. Yes, cheap project. It was in a shop as a display item hung up. Um, very old and um, a mystery. I would like to regard myself as a bit of a two-stroke guru. I've always had two strokes. I love two-stroke engines. I've rebuilt many, many two-strokes. And this thing is just causing me a real dilemma. It's got a spark, got compression, carbs cleaned out, timing looks about right. Can I get it to fire? No, not even a, not even a backfire, nothing. But to be fair, we've not really had time to go at it properly, have we? So we've been doing the house. As I say, we didn't pay much for it, so... Our risk, our risk profile is, is low. Auto moto, French. She's pretty though, isn't she? Yeah, she is pretty. I like the saddle seat. I, I don't like oh, I love the saddle. This is another bike. Anybody think we're rich, aren't we? But. This bike is something I've restored many years ago. I'll never want to sell it. She's very sought after. Called an RD 350 LC, and the centre stand is seized. Would you like me to help you? Are you no, okay? I'm good. Um, oh, a bit bindy. Yeah, I cannot wait to get this back on the road. That's the one. That's one I won't be riding. <laughs> well, I've got another one in bits, which can be for you. Oh, I don't think I would dare. This is 
more, yeah. I've never sat on this. This is more your size. I think they like weigh three yeah. of me, four of me. Oh. Have you got her? Look at that, you can see when she was last on the road. Mm. Oh, six. put one foot on the floor. She fits you perfectly. I can't put both feet on the floor. That means I fail my CVT test. <laughs> Well, that is jacked up actually. She's jacked up a little bit. Oh, don't look at this book, it's not on the floor. Oh, is it not? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I thought you were just both on. No. Okay. Yeah. Suits you though. The only problem I find with these kind of bikes is you like that all the time. You get back, eh? I want to sit up. I can adjust it though. Can adjust these. They're not a they're not a race style well well in a, of their era they're more sit up and beg than back break. There, there, keep it there. Yeah, keep it straight. Keep it straight, keep going. Bit. Okay. Why are men so good at reversing? I think I'm pretty I'm pretty confident now. Pretty confident. finish off cleaning the caravan. We don't know what we're doing with it yet. With us moving. Don't know whether we're going to sell it or keep it. <laughs> 